Welcome to the Casually Fit Podcast. My name is Rob. Thank you for coming by today. I appreciate it. Uh, Hopefully all of you are having a great day so far. Maybe you got some plans for this weekend. Maybe you're going to go crazy with it. I don't know. All I know is that the world seems to be getting somewhat normal and uh, hopefully that uh, trend continues. But either way, today's podcast, the topic today is sedentary behavior. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I posted a couple things about this. Um, I've also posted a couple videos on YouTube about this as well. It is a topic that I do like as far as I like to talk about it and I like to bring awareness um, about this topic because there's so many people who believe that they're not sedentary when they very well might be sedentary people, even people who work out. And for me, you know, I, I, I believe I fell into this category at some point and it was a shock. I'm just like, what? Like, no, nah, I work out. You know, I, you know, other people don't work out. Those people are sedentary. I work out. I'm not sedentary. Well, you know, it, it actually is the other way. I, uh, there's, there's data now that shows that people who are working out uh, can also be sedentary. So you can uh, work out and you're considered sedentary. When you're considered sedentary, you open yourself up to um, a higher risk of mortality and cardiovascular disease and other chronic diseases, which sucks, right? So it sucks on so many levels. It sucks that we're going to get these diseases. It sucks that our bodies uh, seem to require us to just move all the time. (laughs) Um, But you got to embrace it. You got to enjoy it. You got to find a way to love it. And that's, uh, and hopefully this video is a first mover for a lot of people to where maybe it wakes you up a little bit. Maybe it says, "Ah, maybe I shouldn't be skipping cardio. Um, That's hopefully maybe what this video is about and that's my goal with it really it's uh just bring awareness let people know hey you you might want to start moving a little bit more uh, than what you are whether you haven't been moving at all or you do go to the gym and you just skip cardio every day right so uh but yeah what i wanted to get into first so what is sedentary always look at the computer like there's something there uh there's not there's a little you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, so, so what is sedentary behavior, right? Uh, sedentary behavior is obviously sitting down, it's lying down, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, think about the past, right? So there's a, there's a stat out there. So something like two out of 10 workers before like the 50s um, had like labor jobs, like two out of, or two out of 10 workers had administrative jobs, jobs that required you to really sit most of the day. Now that number is over double right now of how many people are required to sit most of their day at their job. So the times are changing as far as the workforce. The workforce is getting more towards, you know, keyboards, mouses, computers, things like that. There's, I mean, think about all the jobs that they there's not too many jobs that require, except for like construction, mechanics, things like that. You know, most jobs require sitting on a computer and doing all that. So our workforce is becoming more sedentary, moving less. And then we have these cell phones out here. Uh, cell phones basically kind of almost require you to, to sit um, a little bit more. I mean, it is funny, though. When I'm with my friends and we're trying to like go somewhere, do something, and like, oh, hold on, I got to send this text or hold on, I'm looking this up. And then they just stand in one place. I'm always just thinking like, yo, you know, somebody worked very hard to make that phone mobile and you're just sitting there. Uh, so, but either way, most of the time, if you're, you know, search, searching the gram on Twitter, just looking up random stuff on the internet, you're probably on your couch, maybe you're at your uh, uh, computer desk, whatever it is, you're more than likely sitting on your phone, playing on your phone. So that is a new added thing to the mix. And then you have TVs, with which have been around forever. That definitely has contributed to us being more sedentary. And then you have um, driving times. Driving time, especially if you live in uh, a, a city with a high population and when things are actually normal, not during the Rona, uh, you can be sitting in traffic for a half hour, hour a day, 
um, each way to and from work. That seems pretty normal for a lot of people. So when you add all this up, a lot of us are really sedentary, and that is a bummer, right? Okay, that's that's a bummer because again, this is opening us up to a higher risk of mortality, higher risk of dying, right, and then a higher risk of other diseases. So it's a bummer, and uh, and again, this is why I'm trying to say, hey, if that's you, we got to calculate it up, right? Just think right now, think about your day. And think about what you do on a typical day. Don't think of yourself as the best. Don't be like, oh yeah, well on my best day, this is what I do. Think of your typical day. For most people's typical day, you wake up maybe 8 o'clock. I mean, you might you just walk around your house a little bit while you're getting ready. Then you jump in your car, half hour, hour to work. And then you spend eight hours at work sitting. You go to lunch. Yeah, you go to lunch. Maybe you walk somewhere to go to lunch. But then you sit some more, and then after that, <laughs> you sit in your car to go home. And more than like, more than likely for most people out there, they sit on their phone on the couch, or they sit watch TV, or they go meet up with some people at a bar, and they sit at the bar, and then they go lay down and go to sleep. And you know that's a bummer because again, this is um, causing a lot of issues for people. Uh, but that is most people's day. And let's throw in exercising, right? So imagine if you have that same day, but you exercise for like an hour. And for a lot of people, exercise is just, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go lift weights. I'm going to go see how much weight I can lift. I want to get big. You know, for a lot of people, that's what they do. At least that's what I see in most gyms most of the time is people who are in there just way too jacked up and all they care about like literally all they do is look in the mirror the whole time and it's it's hilarious um but you're not really exercising too much you're lifting weights um but as far as like moving the legs not doing that as far as uh raising the heart rate and keeping the heart rate raised while breathing uh breathing heavy that's not really happening right so Aerobic exercise isn't really happening for most people in most gyms most of the time. And I cruise around to, I I go to 24-hour fitness, and I cruise around to different gyms, and that's how it is at most of them. So, hey, maybe where you're at, it's different. Uh, But as far as where I'm at, there's very, very, very few people that do uh, aerobic exercise. And this is important because, again, if you are somebody who has to drive to work pretty far and you work a desk job and maybe you watch a little bit TV, but then you do exercise and you feel like you're doing something, uh, which you are, right? You are getting stronger. You are, you know, raising the bar of your health a little bit. uh, But if you're not doing any aerobic exercise and really if you're kind of half-assing it and kind of going slow throughout the gym, you're not really you're not really doing enough and that's really the the um the takeaway for today is you're probably not doing enough and you got to find other time i mean look i don't i don't like i don't like being told what to do and i don't really like telling people what to do either so i'm just telling i'm just saying it how it is if you want to do this stuff go ahead and do it i think it is in everybody's best interest if they did do more as far as exercising watching their diet doing all that but hey some people don't want to do it and you know trying to convince somebody who uh doesn't want to do any of these things is pretty much impossible it's pretty difficult right and it's almost like you're talking to a wall and i've been that person okay so this so i'm not not saying anything about these people i'm just saying that it is very difficult to to have somebody change their ways. Hopefully, you just hear me talk and you you go, oh, little little uh, light lights up, and you go, oh, well, maybe I should do more. And that's the message: is maybe you should do more because I got some statistics here for you. So high levels of TV time were significantly associated with increased all-cause and cardiovascular de- disease. <laughs> All cause, uh, (laughs) 
all cause and cardiovascular disease mortality. All right. So each one hour in increment in TV time was found to be associated with 11% and an 18% increased risk of all cause. Why did? Okay. So that was just a double. So again, so you're going to have a higher level of um, all cause mortality and cardiovascular disease per one hour that you spend watching TV. And then if you add in work on top of that, I mean, it's ridiculous. This other one, uh, furthermore, all right, so I had bad statistics here, but, uh, <laughs> Uh, but either way, so I thought I had better facts here. Where'd they go? All right. Uh, t t t hold on one second. Okay. Two seconds. Yeah, no, that's it. Um, but they did do a study. Uh, it was a 21 year follow up study of over 7,000 men. And it basically showed that they had, these are people who spent time in their cars driving to work and they spent time watching TV for a pretty good good amount of time per week watching TV and they had an 82% and 64% greater risk of dying from cardiovascular disease right 82% and 64% that's wild okay that that's absolutely wild so again we need to do more and you don't even really Yes, you should have exercise. Yes, you, you should be um, doing some sort of exercise, um, have some sort of program that you follow, right? But there's also light activity. So there's sedentary behavior, and then the next level up from that is light activity. Light activity is um, kind of like cleaning around your house, maybe doing a little bit of gardening and things like that. So if you can find things that you can kind of like move around and do inside your home a little bit more, I know that's difficult, right? But if you can, that can help your chances of uh, not being a sedentary person and that can help your chances of not uh, being at risk for all these things. But the main thing, again, is we need to do more. So look at your schedule and try to figure out you know, where you can put in some walking, where you can put in some running, where you can put in anything really to get your body moving, whether that's you waking up earlier in the morning and going for a run, going for a walk, maybe instead of eating um, at lunch or whatever, maybe you actually just go for a walk or run at lunch. And so you just got to kind of put in these things. And again, it's a bummer, right? It's a lot of us just want to kind of chill i mean we're only here once we got these lives uh want to have some fun but we have these requirements and these requirements weren't really widely known before i mean you can kind of know uh back in like the 80s and 90s i mean i grew up in the 90s but i was young but i feel like even in the 80s and 90s 70s 80s and 90s you know, you can kind of tell, hey, maybe I should be exercising, maybe I should be working out, but a lot of people weren't because it wasn't even really uh, like widely recommended or even respected because a lot of people just didn't care. They just didn't do it. And uh, you can kind of tell that that is the way to go, but there wasn't too much data behind it. Now we have a lot of data, right? Now, we have Americans who've been watching TV for like 50 plus years, right? So now we have data on all this TV time and we have data on what happens when people sit. And that's just, you know, and there's more data to come because think of think of this, you know, the internet came around in the 2000s whenever or 90, I mean, internet really didn't matter until the 2000s. And... Um, and, and again, that increased administrative jobs, that increased jobs to where people are sitting around. And so now, 10 years from now, you know, there's going to be more data. And the data that's coming out currently is showing that our bodies absolutely scream, hey, you need to get out and you need to move me. Otherwise, I'm going to shut down. 
Otherwise, I am going to start contracting diseases. Otherwise, I, I'm going to drop my immune system. The immune system is going to drop. You'll be more susceptible to diseases. Uh, you're You'll have more aches and pains if you're moving around or if you're not moving around. And that's really what's going on. And, and again, the data is showing, I mean, an 82% increased risk of dying from cardiovascular disease because you drive to work and you watch TV at the end of the day. <laughs> that's what it's saying. If, you're, if you have to drive to work and you're watching a bit of TV at the end of the day, you have an 82% chance of cardiovascular disease <laughs> that's ridiculous okay so uh so again the message of the podcast get out <laughs> move around do something right we're all we're all in this boat together okay and nobody should be taking this personal that's another thing you know when it comes to people's i think my volume levels are too high um when it comes to people's health people take it so serious and it's like look we all have bodies. We're all in bodies, okay? If if you and your friend bought the same crappy Nissan Sentra, shout out to Nissan Sentras. I'm not trying to talk smack. But if you and your friend bought the same crappy Nissan Sentra, had the same miles and everything, and then around 40,000 miles, your friend who was racking up the miles is like, oh, yeah, hey, change out your water pump because I just blew out my engine. The, f the other friend wouldn't be like, what are you, hey, what are you talking about? Like, why are you telling me to change out my water pump? It's, it's like, no, they're just like, oh, well, you have a car. It's the same car as mine. And um, my car went out because of the water pump and I blew out my engine and I had all these issues. So if you don't want to have those issues, change out the water pump early. You know, maybe that's a bad analogy, but... <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is we all have bodies, okay, and we all have these requirements. Now, if you let, if you have been letting yourself go a little bit and you've been sedentary for a while, you have to kind of catch up a little bit. You, you have some extra work that you need to do for a good period of time to be able to catch up to then still have to have all these requirements, okay? So we all have these requirements, and that's a real thing that we all need to realize is that look we're big bodies right we weigh anywhere from 120 to over 200 pounds we we range from five foot two to six foot nine you know seven feet tall i mean these bodies got to move and and that's just something that you should intuitively kind of feel and know that your body does need to move but also if it's not like that for you and you're more of a data-driven person, uh, look at the data, look at the stats, and be like, oh, well, this is just proven now that if I don't move, if I stay sedentary, if I watch too much TV, if I don't break up my day with walking, running, exercising, then I am have an 82% increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Okay, so that should give a little shock to many of us and be like, all right, where where can I fit this in? And it, it could be a slow process that you take to really fully realize it and start implementing things, but just start doing it, right? Just start figuring it out. And uh, that's the whole point of this podcast. And I hopefully I hit that point home is that, look, I just want everybody to kind of look around right now at their lives maybe keep track for the next week or two of how much you're you know don't change anything just keep track of what you do on a daily basis and then really look at it and be like am i doing enough you know and and be honest with yourself most again most of us are not doing enough okay so if you fall into the category of i'm not doing enough you're with most people, okay? So don't feel like you're a loner out there. Just try to find ways to fit some stuff in. Uh, but yeah, that's this podcast. I think it was relatively brief. Uh, hopefully, again, I'll, I don't want to like freak people out or anything, and I don't want to uh, make people feel bad or anything like that. So hopefully I didn't do that. Again, I'm just trying to let y'all know. We need to move more. We need to get out more. And that's also the worst thing. You hearing somebody telling you you gotta exercise. I I get it, right? I I get that 
I'm being that annoying person right now, but it's so important. And it's different. Again, it's different from back in the day. Back in the day when people were telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that. They were just saying it because they like to tell people what to do. And they also like, um, maybe they wanted to sell them a weight loss program or whatever, right? I have a workout program. It's free. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to tell you, you need to get out. You need to move because of the data, because there's so many people that are affected by this. And, you know, in the long run, we're going to have a lot of really, really big issues. So other than that, you know, I'll stop being annoying for today. This is a casually fit podcast, which I'll end it off real quick. So again, casually fit, right? So there's a casual part. You know, you can recognize, hey, I got to change all these things. I need to do all these things, but also relax. Okay, relax. Just go find a workout program, find a time to walk, find a time to run, plug yourself in, relax, put in the work, and just keep plugging away, right? Don't don't be all frantic. Don't be all crazy about this. Uh, but yeah, just <laughs> this podcast ended bad. Next one will end better, I promise, all right? Have a good day, everybody, and um, yeah, have a good rest of your week.